crack lack in my faction. Yeah, What's f- 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 red faction? What's crack lack and red faction? <laughs> Nacklin. Don't be slacking on my cracking, which is what I call my penis. And I actually did learn a little uh, German, and I learned a little Vietnamese. So if we learned Vietnamese, useless language, but... <laughs> it really kind <laughs> of is. Well, there, it totally is, right? There yeah. are a fuck ton of Vietnamese people in at Nova. In Nova. At Nova, yeah. Actually, oh! Korean would be a great one to learn. Because of their internet speeds. And <laughs> also, because... Yeah. Oh, that was a, almost a bad move. We would get... Um, we would be able to go to two different countries, North and South Korea. Boom. And, well, I'm thinking so more of, like, like how, how attractive the women are from that nationality. Um, and can you imagine how easy North Korean women must be? Pretty they easy. would like. Yeah, they know you would nothing like, of our world. Promise you them would, a little food. You got yeah. them. You would, <laughs> from the hand, from the palm yeah, of your hand. Yeah, you would thrust once and destroy their pelvis. Uh-huh. It would turn to dust. That sounds so. really easy. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> that sounds like they're malnourished. Hey, That's right up John's alley. <laughs> Asian women aren't tighter. Their cervixes are just shorter. That's. John, your penis me. can't reach That's anyway. True. You don't have a penis. It's like half an inch. That's still a penis. That's still a penis though. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you don't care about a penis? Well, what sounds horrible. Yeah. What? Closer cervix sounds horrible. That's just not as deep. Yeah, that's awful. That doesn't sound. Well, I don't know pleasant. if that's true. It doesn't sound. I just heard pleasant. that from Filthy Frank. I've hit the cervix before. It's like in your girlfriend. Yes. What is she like? Two inches deep. <laughs> John thought he roasted you. But nobody's Whoa. actually laughing. Dude, I roasted you, Andrew. How do you feel? Totally roasted. <laughs> well, it's just like it's, it's totally roasted. Really. How did you manage that one? What do you mean? How did I, I have a? Did it hurt? Yeah. No, that's the shitty thing. Is it didn't feel like anything for me. She was like, "Ow, ow, ow, we gotta stop." I'm like, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that the red key? That's weird. That's. Oh. That's weird, Andrew. I thought your dick was small. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was eight inches long. Man, should have known. I mean, you've only seen it when it was soft. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Anyway, so let's get back to talking about gay acts. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with both of you? Like be... What even is the cervix? It's what connects to the vagina to the womb. Oh. It's it's. The I always thought it was a wall. wall. Oh. It's not like a wall. But a hole I always in thought it. it was like a brick wall. It's weird. It feels like. Let me try to explain it. I'm playing it feels a game. Feels like a butthole. Like a no. tight butthole. No, a butt tight hole. I would imagine <laughs> if you could look at it, it would be like a pro It would look like I've a pro butthole. I've seen it. It doesn't. It looks weird. It's kind of like, it's Pull like, here's like the wall weird. and then it's like this. It's you like, ever felt it? It's kind of, it like sticks out a little bit. Really? Yeah. You never felt that? Like you can like put your finger around it. I've done oh. it before. It makes them, <laughs> well, it makes them squeak. you got longer fingers than I do. It makes them how, squeak. How deep is the atri- average vagina? I can I can go all the way in deep. with five? like one of my fingers. Yeah. Um, then how I do hit the cervix all the time. I John. see women taking like monster cocks. How is that possible? I don't. You would think it would kill someone. Well, it wouldn't kill you regardless. Not well, it wouldn't kill you, but it, it would hurt a lot. It wouldn't be plus. It I would hurt. Yeah, women do often say that there's like too big is pretty small. <laughs> Too big is too small. Yeah. <laughs> too big is too small. Too big, too little. That, too that, little, that too late. That doesn't mean that having a big dick is a problem. It's not to say that, because it's still... You ran right into that. It's oh, aesthetically goodness. pleasing to anyone who likes dicks. Because <laughs> no one who likes dicks likes short dicks. Except for people who like short dicks, which there are a lot of those people. <laughs> so, what are you trying to say here, Andrew? Do you like short dicks? No, well... Whoa, what the fuck is that? It's a plasma gun, and I'm just... Oh, I thought I was making them, them smaller. <laughs> Like it was a tiny <laughs> a gun. Shrink ray. Yeah. yeah, it was like a shrink ray. <laughs> no, John, I was just backing away from oh, him. Oh, remember in the Lord of the Rings game where you could put in the cheat to make all the enemies half size? And have So big, the orcs and heads. stuff would be like really tiny and you could just go. No. Which Lord of the Rings game? I think all of them had that cheat. All game. Lord of the Rings games. The three, the like three the, movie the ones. The hack and slash ones. I'm talking about the movie games. Those were actually the GTA fun. Games ones? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never knew that cheat, but I love those games. Yeah, those were good. Yeah, you those play good. Those like, and fuck shit up. That was like the first. The Two Towers one is the one that I had for GameCube. That was like mm-hmm. the first game I, had, I ever got for GameCube. Because I'm. Oh, nigga, get away. I had Return <laughs> of the King for PC, and it's one of my earliest gaming memories. But we also had a game that came out before the movie. For me, it was Twin Towers. <laughs> That's a good one, the John. Twin Towers. 
I mean, the uh, two towers. <laughs> Shiny fucked up. I always do that. <laughs> I had a... Whoa, wait. Oh. I had a Lord of the Rings games from before the uh, movie came out. So it had like. Did I ever tell you about how I got the Hobbit game at Best Buy, but it didn't have the game? It just had the book. It just had the book. (laughs) And your mom was like. I was really like upset. I didn't understand. I was like, wasn't this supposed to come with the game? And apparently it's not. It was just a book in a game case. Or in a fancy case that looked like it should have had a game in it. What is this guy doing? That's awful. I know. I was really disappointed. Because it looked kind of like Fable, but like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the Hobbit game, that was awesome. Did anyone here play it? No, yeah. I wanted to. I loved the I Hobbit game. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was so good. I, I never feel got bad past... for anyone who never got to play it. I never got past... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm taking damage. I never got cock. past uh, the troll part, though. Oh, that's the easiest part. That's actually glitched. If you just walk behind them far enough, you can just walk on the leaves straight up and they won't notice you. I kept getting caught. No, nah, dude, over. you just walk far away from Look at how small around. my gun is. I know, every first person game is like that. Yeah. You walk up right next to a door and, like, try to melee it. And it's fucking. Well, in this game, they kind of, like, fix that because they make your gun go like this, but it's still, um, like, okay. small. It's small gun syndrome. It's really <laughs> bad. I remember in World at War because you'd have, like, the Car 98, which is, like, a long bolt action rifle, and you would put it against someone's head, and it would look like. Smaller than their ear. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, <laughs> nigger. I missed boy. all of those. <laughs> Ooh, big boy. How's Almost... the music playing? I no. don't know. I would like to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad John's a faggot. Too bad uh, we run a show where we can't have the speakers up loud. Or we run a fuck show. Up the audio. I run the show. <laughs> we run this spot like a Chinese sweatshop. We're Chop, showrunners, man. Can I thank you? But the song's like the music in this game's like metal and it's like metal and electronic. Hey, kill yourself. <laughs> kill I blew myself up and he's fine. Kill myself. <laughs> kill myself. <sighs> we were talking about this. Uh, James said that uh, he said a phrase that I don't think I've ever heard in my entire life, and the phrase was. Uh, she he looks like an unbaked potato. Oh yeah. So it makes a sense until potato. it makes yeah. sense until you think about it, right? Well, no, it just sounds stupid. I don't think I've ever heard the words unbaked potato. Yeah, because no. unbaked potato is just a potato. Yeah, that's stupid. Why is James <laughs> stupid? <then? laughs> oh, you haven't met him yet. No, He's I retarded. haven't. <laughs> Like, he's literally, like, he has Down syndrome. <laughs> Is this man, he was, st- oh, I don't know I about like that it. one, Bethesda. I that like one's it. not convincing me. <laughs> nice You're ruining physics. the immersion. Dude, blow up that uh, portal of hell before the giant abyss walker gets out of there. Smart. <laughs> What is going on? Well, you're getting killed. Is that what's going on? <laughs> uh oh, dude, there's a pentaglam. Pentagland? Oh shit! I have five decks. It's my <laughs> pentagland. <laughs> it's my clan. Oh, we're pen. actually playing. We're playing on like the hardest difficulty that you get with the vanilla game. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's other difficulties you can unlo- unlock eventually. But... Yeah. Oh. I don't like that. Maybe Renato plays this uh, really well, but to me it seems too easy, even though it's on the hardest. Hmm. Yeah. Like, he's kind of just killing shit. Yeah. Like crazy. But it's probably going to get tougher, right? Yeah, it's, we're pretty early into the game. I um, can't just... wait to see the boss, though. I want to see oh, the yeah. boss. Oh, yeah. The bosses in Doom are always awesome. Awesome. Apparently, they're like, they're rehashes. The same, like, orig- there's like. You know, they brought back some of the old ones, they're rehashes, mm-hmm. but I hear that the last boss is, like, kind of underwhelming. Mm. It's just a giant dick. It's like a big old... It's pretty funny. I won't say it. <laughs> just imagine a big old dick. I, I do that all the time. Did you ever play any, the seri- any of the Serious Sam games, I, uh, I When I was, like, three years old, we found the Serious Sam game in my grand... My grandfather's collection of pirated CDs. Your grandparents' grandfather? My yes. 
Yes, he pirated a lot of games. No, <laughs> my granddad pirated games all the time, like cool. before, like before it, it was cool. Yeah, and um, and I found this thing called Serious Sam, and I put it in, and I was shooting shit, and it was awesome. And my mom came in and was like, "You can't be playing that," and really? I never played it again. <laughs> I never played it again. I played it. No, I didn't play it once. My brother put it in and said, "Your turn was next," and he played it, and I watched him play it for like a minute. And then your mom came in and was like, "We can't play that." Yeah. Well, isn't Serious Sam like rated T? I was like, no, they're was, M games. Oh, because okay. there's like, like nudity and, and stuff, like, but it's not like that big a deal. I was like four years old too. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. About time I started getting pussy. <laughs> About time you started looking at pussies. Yeah. When was the first time that you like jacked off and you like you knew what you were doing? Um. Oh, when I knew what I was doing. Yeah. Because it goes way back before It goes that. way back. Right. It was like before I was in fifth grade even. I might have been in like third grade. What does grade. that mean, Renato? We don't know. <laughs> fifth grade is 14. What? You went to fifth grade when you were 14, John? Are you autistic? We didn't go to fifth grade ever. <laughs> oh. I was two years ahead of my grade, but... But I you didn't go to school. No, what the that's, fuck fifth grade That's is. like five years behind, John. If you're, oh. going to, if you're going to fifth grade when you're 14... Wait, that doesn't make sense, because... No, it makes sense. You should be in, like, 10th grade... Like, 9th to 10th grade if you're 14. Oh. oh you should okay. be finishing high saying. school you're when saying. you're, like, 18. I thought you were saying at when you're at 5th grade, you should be 17. N nobody said that, John. I thought that's that what was you were you. saying, because I was like... Oh, John, I know there's, the only like, 12 grades, so... <laughs> See, I didn't know there were 12 grades. <laughs> there's we there's 13 in England. Renato. Oh, 13. How old was I when I was in fifth grade? Uh, 14. No. You were autistic. <laughs> right, and I'm 20 now, so how how does that work? Because I went through two years of college. It was a fucking waste of my time. What was your degree? Yeah, I know. College is a waste of time. I didn't get a degree because I was wasting my time. I didn't know what I wanted to... Oh my You're god, wasting... if you don't stop that shit, I'm going to beat your ass. College is a waste of time thing. on its own, but it's terrible when you waste your time... Wasting your time. Yeah. I mean, I, least... did, I got good grades and stuff, but it's just like, I wasn't into what I was doing at all. So, I was, you know, I was like unenthusiastic about it. I didn't... Well, people don't learn very well if they're not actually interested in the yeah. subject. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't learn... You don't learn very well at college. Like, at fucking... I don't know, maybe it's different once you get past the lower level classes. Yeah, well, the first... Your first two years is going to be, like, bullshit classes, pretty much. Yeah. It's not actually going to be what you're, like, going, studying, like, as, to, like, help whatever you're doing as a first professor. First two years are basically more of high school. Yeah. Mm. But the no, That's, I went to visit, like, the year, like, after, when I, the summer after I graduated high school, like, I had some friends that were, like, going off to college, and I, like, I went to Virginia Tech, and, like, being in a dorm is literally... Fucking high school 2.0. Like, that's exactly how it was. And it was, I was like, I would hate this because I fucking hated high school here. I hated Robinson. It was like the most autistic we place were, ever. We were talking about that at Safeway actually because we said at Nova it's cool because everyone knows, base, everyone's there to sort of better themselves. And to like, to colleges, get that shit done, yeah. Four year colleges though are just high school 2.0 because everyone there is either on a free ride or their parents are paying yeah. for it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, which is essentially a free ride. Yeah, Nova's cool. Like, yeah, you I mean, get people that are like for all the like fucking weird people that degree. are there. It's mm -hmm. I definitely prefer Nova to, you know, or like pretty much any community Nova's, college experience. Nova's fucking real, you know. Yeah, there's like people trying to get you know get shit done there. Yeah, and like oh shit, too? Jesus Christ. Um, man, I ain't like, yeah, all my classes, and I only took like. Six? Yeah, six. The only one that I found difficult was the only one that I remember anything from. Everything else I got oh, God, was I... so fucking easy. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, I saw him, right? I wasn't thinking about where the other one was. Everything was so easy. I don't remember shit from any of it. And the one <laughs> yeah. that I ended up, like, by the end of it, like, the, doing the finals in tears. Like, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. I used to remember everything about fucking Socrates and all that bullshit. What classes did you take at Nova? <laughs> that was, took philosophy, English, psychology, oh, okay. Okay. and history. All right. That's not bad. Um, history was the worst. 
absolutely the worst. I, I will never ever take a history class if I don't have to. Um, like in high, well, I guess in like in like public schools, you can you could get around that, or at least my in my school in Jordan, you could you had to take like one year of a straight up history class, but otherwise you had to take like social sciences, which could be like um, fucking like humanities or like a communications class that we had. Hmm. So it's like that you could do that instead of um like a straight up you know memorizing dates and all this shit. Well, I fucked up because I took American history because I thought oh that'll be just that'll be easy because I'm American. Well, I like I like <laughs> American history, so I I took I took uh, AP US and I, I enjoyed it. Cause I, I like find US like history. Western or ancient history way more interesting. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I well because like I mean Eastern, I guess. Well, because like uh, here, here you <laughs> you always learn. You always learn about, about like Asian, Chinese, wow. and, like the school. <laughs> your Chinese comic books. <laughs> your Chinese Chinese book. cartoons. <laughs> like before, I started moving around. Like in all my history classes, we always learn like. Oh, about the Indians and all that, you know, tobacco and bullshit. Ooh, Indians. But Fuck when them. I started moving around, like, outside the States, like, I barely touched, you know, U.S. history at all until I started getting into, like, 10th and 11th and 10th and 11th grade. So, I find, like, world history, you know, Boring. I've done it so many times. I've learned about mm -hmm. it so many times. I guess that's probably why I'm interested in U.S. history, because I didn't learn that much about it. I found history interesting. It's just doing the work for it that I hated. Oh yeah, it's really like tedious. It's like write an essay, just all you, it was always write an essay, and I was like, what do you want me to write? Write about this. It's like you gave me a book full of writings on this, and you want me to use that to write about it. But you can't plagiarize. Yeah, like what the fuck is wrong with you? You just told me to read this and regurgitate it back to you in different words. Yep. Good. Fuck you. And then you give me a C on my paper? Eat my fucking asshole. I wrote everything out of that book. <laughs> Next I time wrote on that non book. Cult. Next time on Non-Player Cult. My history professor eats my asshole. 